Hello, Lisa Malansky speaking. Yeah, um, I was just transferred. I'm not sure how much uh, information uh, the lady that transferred me uh, gave you about uh, this uh, shipping situation that I've got. Okay, she did give me the tracking number. I'm just looking at it now, and she explained that uh, there was some problems with clearance, and she did an adjustment. Um, yeah, but here's the thing, okay? Every time I try to self-clear, there's always something wrong. And it's not a coincidence, it's intentional. Your company is trying to rip people off systematically for $50 every single time they try to broker something like this. Okay, I know the bill's 33 bucks. I can't explain it, I never saw the bill, okay? But I went down last night with my Form B-15. I showed the driver my stamped forms and my Form B-15, and she would not accept them. Okay? Like, I pay taxes, I'm entitled to services where I can pay for my own clearance and take care of that for myself without having to pay some broker 300 bucks an hour to, you know, spend five minutes filling out my form and charge burning me for $50. You know what I mean? This is harassment, and it's systematic, and I'm real pissed off about it, okay? And she wants to, not only does she want to not deliver my package today, which it should be, you should be getting a driver to drive all the way back to that warehouse, grab that package and deliver it this morning because I should have had it last night. But I got to wait until tomorrow and then I get to wait all day tomorrow. I'm not waiting all day tomorrow. I'm sorry, I'm not. You can drop it off before 12 o'clock. Okay, we can, we can certainly make the request. That's not a problem at all. It's not a request. It is not a request, okay? Because if I don't get that package... Actually, if I don't get that package today, I'm walking down to the CBSA and I'm I'm going to file a report with them for systematic harassment. You guys are violating my rights as a Canadian citizen. I have a right to self-clear those packages, okay? Every single time I call up, they say, oh, do you have to go to the warehouse. No, I don't. I've done it before. The last time I got my shipment, I did it the exact same way. I had one problem and that's your faxing department conveniently has issues receiving faxes and this time around it was no 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 difference in the story whatsoever the driver had no idea about the cbsa forms that i faxed even though i confirmed that it was received you know your department doesn't know what its left hand is doing and its right hand is going about its regular procedure which usually involves passing on to me a bill that's horrendous and unreasonable are correct. You do have the right to clear your own package. Now, one solution for future shipments would be to um, put a file so with it that links to an account number that indicates that you want to clear all shipments that come through. So any packages that are shipped to you would automatically be matched and be flagged for clear zone. Um, um, so that absolutely yes, you can put that flag on my account, but that still doesn't uh, change the fact that uh, myself and several other people as well have noticed. Conveniently that faxes go missing um, the last time my excuse was uh, That uh, uh, somehow they received the fax from somebody else Which is a load of malarkey. I went up to the CBSA and I asked the lady that worked there if she did that She did not send out that fax. I did okay, yeah, I really Which means that I was happen. lied to by by your customer service department with regards to the original fax that I'd sent for that yeah, without researching that, I, I definitely won't be able to comment on that. Okay, but as I'm just pointing out that there's some kind of systematic problem here that is uh, uh, systematically choosing to violate people's rights. Uh, I, I think it's appalling. I can, I can certainly bring that to the to management's attention to have them look into it, why, the, you know, why we're having these issues. Um, okay, tell them to use Google as well, because if you use Google, you can find lots of uh, uh, links regarding uh, people who are getting tired of being burned with self-shipments. Um, it, it almost smells it, like self-clearance shipments. It almost smells like uh, it's broaching class action suit level. So seriously, like, um, I want that package today. I'm tired of this. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about getting the package delivered to you today. I can certainly have it delivered tomorrow morning. I'm just going to check to see if the driver actually is in your area. Um, yeah, today is, is absolutely going to be out of the question. It's not e not even with a driver, so it's not like I can you know simply tell a driver to go back. No, it's uh, yeah. it's it's at one of your warehouse uh, houses. 
Well, I'm, I'm sure somebody that works there, like, uh, I don't know, one of the management or whatever, seeing as you, you guys have, like, management um, that are even higher up that have engaged in this policy of, like, systematically trying to railroad people into paying $50 every time, which I'm not making that accusation lightly. I mean, all evidence that I've seen, which it would be like a billion to one coincidence if it were just an accident, Okay, I, I know all about plausible de deniability, but this is rotten. This is a rotten way to do business in this country. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, we've, de we've definitely adjusted those fees associated with clearing the package, and I'm sure you've been told that by previous representatives. Um, we do deliver, we do have an express service to your area that guarantees a package by noon. So I can definitely notify the center and let them know that we need to upgrade this to an express service that it is delivered by noon, but it won't be until tomorrow. Okay. And that's uh, a free upgrade, right? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, all right. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sorry for any inconvenience. Oh, I'm just going to explain to you about if you want to put your name on file, what happens is that we fax paperwork that has to be filled out and faxed back to us. It generates an import account. You'll have an account number. As long as we're not clearing any shipments, there will never be a bill to you. There is a, it's a free account, but it does require you to fill out paperwork um, authorizing a clear zone for any future shipment. Uh, okay. Is there any chance that you could include that paperwork uh, with the shipment, or is that going to be a little bit too much work there? Yeah, and yeah it actually is faxed to you from our Fredericton department, so it's a completely different center. Oh, um, all right. Uh, do they have my email address? Because I don't have a fax machine. I just use the Business Depot one to send them out. Okay, it can definitely be emailed to you. Um, if you wanted to provide me with your email at gmail.com, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can expect the paperwork for that within the next 24 to 48 hours. It will, there will be clear instructions as to um, whether you just have to find it, uh, fill it out and then either email it back to us or fax it back to us. Okay, that's perfect. Great, that it definitely will, you know, eliminate this from happening for any future shipment. Okay, and uh, one other thing too, um, now that uh, my shipments are uh, b uh, not being automatically cleared by your brokers um, for the future, right, um, when uh, I notice that it arrives in a place like, let's say, Richmond, uh, BC, for example, where your warehouse is, um, that's when it begins its uh, holding period, and that's three days, correct? Uh, how long we will hold it? Yes. Up to five. Five? Up to five business. Okay, perfect. Business. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think that takes care of everything. Thank you. I'll notify the center to upgrade the package at no charge to Express, and you can look forward to getting the paperwork either today or tomorrow. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.